am the ghost, and today I'm back with more Mario Kart. This time I want to talk about Mario Kart 8 and the new DLC. I already played Track on Way 1, and today I will share my thoughts on it. Ok, so we have 4 tracks, which are pretty simple overall. Ferris Remedy is probably the most elaborate of the bunch. Toad Circuit just has some ramps and a few shortcuts, nothing interesting. Chocomon then has amazing music and nice graphics. Like, seriously, you have to listen to this music! <laughs> is kind of divisive to say the least. It's um not that great if I'm being honest. They carry off a lot of the Reynolds best parts, but hey, it's still a nice track. But now that's just like a free a brief recap. Let's get into each one more specifically. Ferris Promenade is good, but you don't really get the whole two direction thing going on. Most people don't get that behind on multiplayer. And with CPUs that sort of thing happens. But no, we don't really get people that are that slow. This track has a lot of shortcuts and places to go into. You can take the pipes, go into this, into the, the right, the straight, or take more shortcuts. It's probably the best one so far, yeah, from all of them, from wave 1 and wave 2. I always get glad and happy when this shows up in the player. I hope Nintendo plays with the concept of making a big racetrack and each lab going a different route. It's a brilliant idea that can get a lot of use. I cannot say anything interesting about Toad Circuit. I mean, I guess it has a nice looking beginning, but the graphics are just sad. <laughs> Especially the grass, that has been mentioned to death already, but come on! Yeah, is that really the best grass you have? I I'm sorry, but freaking Mario 3D World has better grass! Mario 3D World! Even the Mario Kart 7 version has more detailed grass! Yes, I'm serious, it looks better in my eyes! Then again, I'm colorblind, so I could be wrong, so I could be in the wrong here. Now, Choco Mountain has Charm. It is nothing like the original, but hey, it's charming. It's a nice try. To race on it. And overall, you never get bored. I have to be on your toes at every lap. If there isn't a great giant rock, it's gonna be a tough lap or a big jump. It's amazing all around. The graphics look really good. Maybe this was done in a more realistic way. It could have been weird. So this design fits quite well. But this is still a simple track, and it isn't insultingly bad to tear quick, and it's stupid grass. So that's what I have to say. Oh, golly jeez, Coconut Mole. The track everyone loved in Mario Kart Wii. That got memed and engraved in everyone's brain, now it's just kind of ugly and not appealing at all. I I'm sorry, I really tried to like this new version of it, but it's not appealing to me. It doesn't even look like a mole anymore, it just looks weird. Very bright. Alright, that's not true at all. It does look like a mole, but I think if I really want to rate this track in a good way, we should like we should look at the negatives and the positives. Let's start with the negatives, as always. I don't like the stairs, the final portion with the big jump, the cars, the sign where it said have a nice day is gone now, the more realistic look just isn't there anymore, and the fact how it looked in the original, more real, less bright, more grave you can say it, more darker. With less bright colors, it contains a lot of beige and kind of white colors, but not that bright, just kind of brown colors. The new one is bright with a lot of sun, but okay, that's just a me thing, colors is just like personal, please. Let's look at what I like. Um, the music, the, the music slaps, that xylophone really, really kicks in. I also like some background details, like some characters, I like the mountain walls. Uh, I mean, they, they kept the original shortcut, so, so that's nice. But it's just it kind of feels off, you know? It doesn't feel very official. Like, it feels like a fan made it, which is not a good compliment in this case. But oh well, that's just, that's just what I think. Personally, I'm gonna rate this first wave of the Booster Course Pass an 8 out of 10. It's great. It's great. It's really great. But not good or just decent. It's great. So I wanted to do this short video to give my thoughts. Also, it's spring break, so I'll be doing more and more videos these two weekends. 
and just as I was finishing recording, uh, Nintendo uh, posted a video on their YouTube channel saying that same there was maybe a tourney for Australia and New Zealand, but because I'm not Australian or from New Zealand, I can't participate. Uh, I, I just thought it was funny that they just released that as I was finishing recording. So that's it, I'm gonna leave you now. This is the Gamer Ghost, and I say the entire game has been ruined due to unrealistic grass. Thank <laughs> you.